What is up everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool Planet Coaster 2 video. We're back in the Dark Ride build and part two. So if you haven't seen part one, be sure to check it out first before you head into this episode. So uh, in this episode, we're going to do a few more scenes and also theme the uh, train itself um, because uh, you can attach scenery pieces now and you can make it look unique. Uh, which is something I'm really excited for. So this is the section right after the drop track. Um, again, this dark ride, I'm not putting like uh, a crazy amount of effort into like storyline or anything. I just wanted to try and mess with a lot of the mythology theming and also just kind of like a dark ride experience in general. Um, now, you guys probably will be in the comment section talking about how uh, my uh, clearance on the uh, the roof of some of these spots is a little bit close, but you know what? It's okay. Um, you know, you'll, you'll learn as you go. You, you know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> anyways, we do have um, some really, a really cool episode today uh, just showcasing everything. Um, I think we get about probably about half the ride done in this episode when it comes to like the scenes and everything um we stop right before we get to like the little peter totter um track piece that releases backwards right before the backwards section um of the layout so um and then at the end of this video i will uh you guys will see a little bit of the pov um the little bit of the pov uh at least up until the the scenes that we get through so um, it, it's it's interesting because even when you do these um, dark rides now you have to really focus on lighting now because again these are all going to be enclosed and actually dark um, so <laughs> uh, you actually have to really pay attention to that kind of stuff um, which is actually um, really nice and a little it's, it's just different to, and you have to get used to so uh, but anyways we have post the Poseidon statue, which has been used quite a bit. Um, we're going to use him in here in this scene. And we also uh, have a little Medusa figure as well that we are going to use. Um, I really would like to do some more animated pieces, but I think we're going to save that towards the end of the ride. So we're going to have like a little Easter egg, not really an Easter egg, but your kind of little spot uh, where you're going to see Medusa just for a second. Um, uh, I don't know a ton of mythology when it comes to like the lore stor the stories and you know uh, you know I haven't done like much of my research I am which I kind of want to for when I do my main park because I do plan on having uh, some sort of mythology section and kind of utilizing the themes that we do have in Planet Coaster 2 uh, for that park so I'll do a lot more research for like my main parks and stuff like that for this. This is more of kind of like a test build. That's kind of what all these have been. It's just more like of test builds to kind of familiarize myself again with all these pieces and just really get them going. So this is kind of a larger room and um, I didn't want to do go too crazy because you're only in here for a few seconds and you just swoop by. Um, so we do put some spotlights on some of the main pieces like the statue, like the Poseidon and then also the Medusa statue as well and just kind of illuminate those you'll see in the POV of how the final results kind of turn out in the end so um yeah so it turned out pretty cool and again I probably should have made my walls a little bit taller in where the track is I kind of underestimated how big these coaster trains are um which I was kind of keeping an eye on them for the most part but again, um, they kind of it kind of got away with me a, a little bit, and there's not really much I can do to go back from it, um, except for maybe you know for the second half we can <laughs> kind of make it a little bit better. But you know, again, it's a test build, and again, it's not a huge deal. I'm not I'm like as much as I love going for realism on most of my builds. Um, sometimes stuff like this does creep through a little bit. Um, um, you know, ended up it's 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 fine. And these little scenes here aren't anything too special. They're just kind of filler. So they're kind of like these long hallways with just a lot of uh, stuff filled in. You know, to like ruins and uh, just kind of like normal, just kind of normal architecture. And it's just kind of 
you know uh, something cool to look at as you get to the next major scene uh, which in this regard is going to be you're going to launch into a track that leads you into the teeter totter section so uh, this is mainly what we get done here today is just kind of theming up uh, these little hallways and um, you know trying to put a few things here and there um, I still haven't done any of the audio work just yet because uh, again I do want to add some like sound effects and audio for the ride as we go on um, if I can't figure anything out cool I'll try to just use one of the the soundtracks in the game uh, for it as well um, and we'll see how that kind of goes so <clears throat> but yeah um, again we've just been using the Viking theme a lot so I decided um, again for this build we're gonna use a lot of we're gonna do the mythology theme um, just to kind of get that feel for our park uh, get that feel for a lot of the pieces which I'm starting to get a good feel for now um, so um, as for the other themes in the game because we have the planet coaster theme resort theme and aquatic theme I think the last one I would really want to familiarize myself with is going to be the aquatic theme so maybe we'll start doing some speed builds of maybe doing like a flat ride build um, I kind of am interested in doing it like a flat ride build and actually making some themed flat rides um, where you can actually attach the pieces. Maybe that's going to be the next small build that we do is to um, try and do some of those flat ride pieces. So I'd love to hear your guys's um, opinion, what we should do with flat rides, like what kind of themes and stuff would go with what flat rides. So let me know in the comments section if you've got any good ideas for me to kind of try out and test out um, for those, you know, I'm kind of open to hearing what your your guys thoughts are on what kind of flat rides we should be doing so yeah so on this launch i decided to also i know i've kind of overused the piece a little bit and you'll see it again when we uh customize the train but that uh the little uh, uh medusa head statue thing you know i want to kind of uh, save the best for like this teeter tighter section and also the uh, switch track those are the two uh, sec uh, sections that I'm probably the most hyped for uh, to see what kind of we can do you know I've messed with like switch tracks I like uh, um, just kind of doing these really cool scenes um, that kind of transition flawlessly using those tracks I think what we're gonna do for the switch track when we get to it is going to be like a pitch dark section um, I might have a few of those like the turn underneath this section right here I think we're just gonna make a pitch dark section where you can't see anything uh, I think that would be kind of a neat little idea as well. <clears throat> but um, basically we're going along and just, again, this is, this long section is more, the, that we do today is more of like a filler section getting to the major scenes. And I think that's something you can kind of look into when you do build your flat rides is you can have some of those um, filler sections and then you have like your main scenes uh, and the filler sections are kind of get to get you to those main scenes like this little, uh, <clears throat> reverse um reverse tilt teeter totter track which is i guess they call it a seesaw in game is what it's called which i guess kind of makes sense because it tilts up and down and then you release backwards uh, i think they have a forward variant as well um but i went with the backward one because i wanted to have a cool uh, backward section uh for this so and then this last part of the video we're gonna go in and theme up our coaster cars uh, a little bit um, because I think it's just one of the coolest features and I feel like you should always do this to try and make your coaster trains just feel have a different look and feel um, and it just adds a whole lot of um, customiz custom customization options hopefully they add it to like the track rides as well I think that would be a really good option as well um, that's kind of one of my biggest um, uh, requests is to add this feature to like also the track rides as well i think that would be a really good addition so um but yeah after this this is about it for this um episode i hope you guys enjoyed uh, we'll be back to do more of this very very soon so make sure you comment like and subscribe for more amazing content like this guys uh, again hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of cool planet coaster stuff hit the join button if you want to support me for further and see these episodes early but anyways, that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.